Hi, and welcome to a quick video of the target individual program, the target individual uh, experience. And I say a quick video because this is not going to be long. I'm not trying to make it long. Um, what I am going to show you guys. Okay, I don't know what happened here. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Uh, nope. Let me see here. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. All right, I apologize for that. So, uh, went to pick up the kids from school and, uh, you know, walked, got out the building, made a left, walking uh, towards the uh, intersection, and I saw uh, an ambulance. So as I was walking, the ambulance kind of moved up a little bit. Uh, one of the paramedics came out. He went to the back of the ambulance. He didn't open it. Um, obviously, I think uh, they wanted to get my attention. So um, he went back to the driver's seat in the ambulance. And at that point, I took up my phone because I'm like, okay. Uh, it, you know, when they start acting this aggressive so you know with the targeting you then i'm gonna act that, uh, aggressive in my recording and exposing them they would um, okay be a little bit more sneaky after exposing keep exposing them but no so, so um let me just lower the volume here and as i reach the uh intersection uh you know he had his hands out the window with his, you know his, his hands he had a watch on and he kept you know flicking his hands you know keep doing this let me see if i can get it okay he kept doing this you know doing like this and stuff and then as he saw me crossing the street about to cross the street he kept looking at his watch because he kept putting his what putting his hands in like this from the um, ambulance window and he did it multiple times so when he saw that i was recording then uh he stopped right so he stops and then he put his hands inside the ambulance okay see let me see he put his hands inside the ambulance <laughs> again my face like itching me again man and then he put his arm back out because you know again when they get caught doing the harassment okay they're like oh shit he's recording he got caught so you know it take them a minute for them to be like you know what if I react a certain way then yeah I'm gonna look like I'm guilty right so they're gonna continue to do what it is that that they're doing okay so I see his hands was his hands goes in, but he sees I'm um um still recording. And he puts his arm back out again. Okay, and at this point they know I'm coming. Okay, so he starts looking down at his phone so that I can't uh, get a a good um you know video of him of his face. So look at the other one on the other side with the door open. Look at his face. He is pissed. He's like, damn, what the hell? This guy got me on video. He's recording me. You're damn right. Because, again, the minute that I um, crossed over and they said I'm coming, they both took out their phone. The minute I got to the, um, the ambulance uh, door, the passenger, I mean the driver's side door, they both took their phone out. Okay? And he is pissed off. And they got that number again, 32. Okay? So, right? So, got my daughter first. I picked her up first. And then we were walking to go pick up Ethan. So, I'm walking to Ethan's school. And, you know, this is, I'm like halfway down this block. So, as me and my daughter turned the corner, I saw a police vehicle parked there, right? And um, we were walking very slowly because, you know, she was um, on the, walking alongside me. 
and um, so the, I just see the police vehicle sitting there. So it wasn't until I got to the middle of the block, <clears throat> then the two police officers that were sitting in the vehicle get out of the vehicle. And this woman who was sitting in this a car behind this car here, she got out of her vehicle. And then they both walked back to talk to her. And at that point, I was like, okay, yep, this is Moore Street Theater. So I, again, pull my phone out and I start uh, recording. Now, they knew, come in. They saw me coming. I was uh, a block trying to pick up Alyssa, and they, sta they stayed seated in their car. Mm -hmm. But uh, the minute I got in their, their view, they start, um, then they get out of their car. Now look at this idiot right here. Yeah, I'm putting you all on blast, all on camera. Yeah, you can look, buddy. Yeah, you can look, tell you exactly who's involved. As a matter of fact. So what happened is that this police officer, okay, when he realized that, hey, you know what, he's recording, he walks back and was looking at me. Then he turns his back, okay? I guess, you know, you don't want to be on camera, but it's too late. I already exposed what it is that you're doing. So now they're going to react, right? So now they're going to adjust again. So they're going to try to play it off now, you know, and... Let's let's, let's 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 put them on camera. Let's get closer. Let's get closer and put them on camera. Okay, so let me pause it here. So again, there's a woman right here. Okay, now look, he's pointing up in the sky. Okay, he's acting like he's giving her direction. Okay, but his hands is pointed up in the sky. His hands is it's not pointed left. It's not pointed right, it's pointed up in the sky. And then the other one, because now he, now yeah, he realized that like he's on camera. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at that. This is all street theater. I'm looking at my daughter. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking he, at my daughter. And he just gave a quick look and he starts staring at my daughter. And now you're gonna How you doing, him. man? He says, what's you, up to me? Because he, he looked at my yeah, phone. Yeah, school's good. He, he looked at, at my phone, right? Because he knows he's being recorded. And um, then he starts talking to my daughter, asking her about school, and how was school and stuff like that. Then he, he starts with, uh, uh, "How do you have homework? And and I'm like, yeah, she has homework. All right, you have fun? Mm-hmm. So, yep, say yep. Yeah. Uh, she does homework every day. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Back up. So I'm glad to be able to get that interaction. Okay, because, I mean, Alyssa wasn't even looking at the dude. Okay? Until he starts saying hi to her. They want to start talking to me heavily, so you know what? Like I said, the more they push, the more I'm gonna push back. Okay. Oh, I see. And they listen, and they know that I'm gonna fight back because they know because they've been trying to send me subliminal message about being quiet, and I've been recording their behinds every single day. So of course they're gonna push back harder. And again, using the police as a tactic of uh, for intimidation is what they'll always do. They'll always do that. Okay. All right. The more they push, is the more I'm gonna push back. All right. The more they push, is the more I'm gonna push back. And then push back. The guy with the dog. Back. Right. Okay. The guy with the dog. Again, this is all part the street there. Okay. Because again, they know I'm gonna fight back. They know I'm fighting back. All right. The more they As push. He, is the turns across the street he looks at the cops and then he looks at me and then my the more I'm gonna push back okay and as I turn here you had these two uh, school safety officers one of them now look at this guy over there stuck his finger in his ear yeah stick his hands in his ears come on come on come on Go ahead. yes put them all on camera 
The more I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they know darn well exactly what they're doing. So, picked up Ethan, got back on the block. All right, so you and they parked up a this you guys want to see vehicle how they, that uh, says Homeland Security got back on and the investigation. Block. Homeland Surveillance <laughs> truck. <laughs> this is it is so funny. You gotta laugh. You know, you really gotta laugh, right? So it wasn't here when I um, left to pick up the kids and then come back and of course. Again, this is the stuff that they do. Um, you know, it's not surprising. You know, it is not surprising at all. But I'm just trying to show. Daddy, look, I got flowers. Oh, that's nice, baby. Yeah, just, just, just trying to show um, exactly how they target uh, SSTIs. Okay. So, you know, how they uh, again, right? You they know, will and use that record tells us exactly these... what it is that they will use these kind of tactics because again it's like what what it is that they do in here especially with a vehicle like this that says uh um home uh, homeland security uh even though they're not officially with Homeland Security, but they'll use that type of wording, okay? On vehicles and stuff like that, especially vehicles that install surveillance cameras and stuff like that, all right? So when I was leaving the building, which is about, uh, about 2.30? So this vehicle wasn't here. Now they're doing uh, repairs on the building next door so they're going to bring this video i mean this vehicle when i am heading back okay because again with the interactions with the the ambulance the police the street theater now they come and it's like boom okay so again the covert investigative type theme is what they use on ti okay also before i forget so when i went to pick up ethan right and the street theater that was going on within the schoolyard i was trying to record it and all of a sudden my phone wouldn't record i kept getting a message that says unable to record unable to record at the same time that that was happening a little girl came and stand up right next to me and she kept yelling she kept yelling this this other girl name she was like lily 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 really really loud okay so i had to restart my phone when i restart my phone when i tell you i restarted my phone she left okay so again hacking into my phone preventing me from recording certain things because they don't want me to get those things on video okay so i have to explain it i can't show it because again my phone was unable to record and i didn't have any problems all day recording but when they're targeting me, I guess when they don't want me to record certain things, they will hack my phone and prevent me from recording the interaction, the street theater, whatever particular the street theater is. Okay, like the, the last time it was with these um, Chinese uh, individuals or Asian individuals. They look Chinese. I would say Chinese, right? They didn't want me to record that, so they prevented me from from recording the street theater that was happening with those people. They're doing to us because uh, they, they we know we're under surveillance and they do the things strategically, as you'll see in the other two videos. 
And again, come back and there's a Homeland Surveillance vehicle parked up. It's not really Homeland, official Homeland um, thing. So Homeland Surveillance uh, Investigation and Installation. Yep, that's what they do. So I talk about this covert type of uh, investigation that they try to convince TIs that they're in. Everything is already documented. And I'm just showing you real proof of a coercive persuasion program and psychological warfare, psychological harassment tactics and stuff, all right?